Ruby Johnson, the parent of a teenager affected by the e-cigarette-related lung disease outbreak. And I will yield to my colleague, Mr. Grothman, to introduce his constituent. I'd like to thank the chair. I'd like to take this opportunity to... I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce a good friend from Wisconsin, a passionate advocate for tobacco harm reduction. She's helped countless people quit smoking by sharing her story. Vicki Porter. On behalf of former smokers, I hope you'll reject the general war on vaping, and I encourage you to proceed with these comments in mind. Thank you very much for your consideration. Thank you, Ms. Porter. I need to correct the record on a couple things that were just said. There is no evidence to suggest that e-cigarettes are safe or even safer than cigarettes. I want to confirm um, my uh, understanding is that the, the testimony of Ms. Porter is anecdotal related specifically to her opinion and that she is not a public health expert. Thank you. I think that's correct. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Ruby Johnson, and I'm a mother of seven children, ranging from an 18-year-old college freshman all the way down to a five-year-old kindergartner from New Lenox, Illinois. What happened to my daughter is indicative of this outbreak, but it points to the bigger crisis. Our kids are being hooked by flavors. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. And, and Ms. Johnson, um, first of all, as a mom of seven children, kudos. I have a number of parenting questions <laughs> that are not appropriate for the set setting. But, uh, um. Um, I want to thank all of you for being here today. This is very important. And Ms. Johnson, thank you for sharing your story. And I hope your daughter is continued to recover. Now, Mrs. Johnson, I want to ask you a couple questions. Um, how old is your daughter now? She's 18. And when did she first start vaping? And she told us that she tried it the first time when she was a sophomore in high school. Um, she started using um, a Juul, and um, the vast majority of what she used was uh, nicotine e-cigarette. Um, she did try vaping THC as well um, and used mostly nicotine in the weeks leading up to her illness. Um. And, and happy to hear your daughter's doing well. Could you, do you know where she was obtaining the product from? And you mentioned a mix of legitimate and illegitimate product. Is mm -hmm. that correct? That's correct. Every one adult smoker that e-cigarettes are actually helping to quit nicotine. But for every one adult smoker that is being helped, 81 kids will be introduced to nicotine through e-cigarettes and graduate to cigarette addiction as an adult. None of us want that. And that's an impossible statistic. There are 11 million Sorry. vapors. Claiming there are 11 million vapors. Claiming my time. I was just making Ms. a statement. Porter, I actually please. wasn't posing a question to you. Please, please let Ms. Uh, Presley finish your question. No, I just didn't want to take away from your own personal experience. So, As a mother, thank you, Ms. Johnson, for uh, coming here. I know it's not easy. Um, even for me, speaking publicly is to this day, uh, my stomach turns. Um, so I, do, I know how hard it is, especially something so personal. So I really do appreciate you being here. Uh, E-cigarettes were allowed to hold and discharge numerous other poten potentially toxic substances, such as, I'm going to have to try to pronounce this, formamide. Yes, thank you. Uh, and a compound named benzene, benzene, which is found in car exhaust systems. Uh, about this um, because the long-term effects is very dangerous, especially because they have been targeted towards youth. And then, you know, Ms. Porter, I was reading because I want to know more about you and, and your beliefs, and I, I respect that. We all have different beliefs, but you call yourself a con con converted conservative and reformed Marxist. Are you a conspiracy theorist? I, I think my politics are entirely irrelevant to this hearing. Oh, okay. Why were you winking at one of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle? You winked. Because I know Glenn Grothman. Oh, that's what it, so the winking, did he? He introduced me. Oh, He's a friend of mine. Okay, I understand. I didn't know what the winking was, because I thought maybe there was something like a conspiracy thing going on there. I didn't know. You think there's a conspiracy in this no, hearing, ma'am? No, I actually think people are speaking truth here, and you can provide information. May, may I? Do not. May I address the no, truth? No, no, uh, no. Well, the truth to you is very different for the majority of people in this room who do I, believe that t uh, children the are being targeted by The truth for me is I quit smoking start. with these cigarettes and so did 8 You're million other smoking, people. You're Let's, still smoking. Thank, I'm not smoking. Thank, thank you. And I'm not order, lying under oath. Order, please. 